according to a Chinese proverb, a journey of a thousand miles starts with one step. We may have not journeyed or liter literally journeyed a thousand miles to get to this point tonight. However, the first step in the realization of this, this project began a while ago when our managing director, Ms. Regina LaBega, took office and immediately ordered a quick scan of the company, which established the need to take a fresh look at our, at our revenue streams, both aeronautical, but also, very importantly, non-aeronautical. Consequently, the airport then commissioned Intervista's consulting group during the first quarter of 2012 to carry out a non-aeronautical revenue enhancement study. Based on the results of this study, of course, as well as other market research, Intervista submitted a report on revenue enhancement opportunities with a focus on food, beverage, and retail. The report concluded, among other things, that SSM Airport's revenue from non-aeronautical sources was way below what the industry standard in the region and also, of course, internationally for an airport of our size. So in accordance with the recommendations of the report and following extensive consultations with concessionaires at the various facilitation meetings that we held with them, we started to execute a two-phase, open, transparent, and public tender process to introduce a new retail strategy that would, of course, replace the old landlord-tenant relationship with one of partnership. The main goal of this new retail strategy was to create a win-win-win situation for all by increasing the sales volume of the concessionaire so that more passengers spend. And the more passengers spent, of course, the more money the concessionaires would make. And therefore, the more the airport's revenue would increase. In fact, we can report that this has been the case since the implementation of the new retail strategy, which also seeks to reduce and even eliminate things like passenger confusion, and also the product offering and pricing and various, at, at the various concessionaires. Another objective in the reno renovation of the departure area was to improve the food and beverage and the retail space, especially in its mix and its layout, while upgrading the area and creating a tempting airside lounge. This would give a sense of place through the effective use of, of our culture, the music, and also the flavors. I believe it, has, it can be safely said that we have achieved that today. The implementation of our new retail strategy was meticulous, meticulous, meticulously carried out in two phases. The first phase an expansion of the of interest, an expression of interest, or a request for qualification. This started in January of 2013, followed then shortly after the second phase of a request for proposal. By October of that same year, over 85% of the available space had been allocated with also 85% of the local and already existing stores returning to PJIE, to SXM Airport. At each step of the way, not only the concessionaires, but also the public of St. Martin was duly informed of what was taking place. And even though during the process we experienced a couple of challenges here and there, and I think the challenges weren't just a couple, but someone wrote the speech. 
But however, the, the result is that there's an overall consensus that this was the change and the time for the change had come. As a matter of fact, I dare to say that the concessionaires are today happy about the new look of the departure lounge, which they themselves has contributed to constructing. A project of this magnitude involved the coordination of 32 different contractors, if we're not forgetting any, nine different consultants, 26 different concessionaires, various countless government departments, etc., etc., etc. Also, logistically, this presented its own challenges as construction had only to take place at night in order, of course, not to disrupt the daily operations because operations must continue. May I welcome you all again to this special event, the official opening of our renovated and refurbished departure loan. Permit me to begin my address with a rather extensive quote from a passenger who in the public relations world would be referred to as a satisfied customer. This user of our facilities wrote in an email to another colleague about his recent experience at SXM Airport. He said, and I quote, this is a hassle-free hub designed to be a hub with an amazing customer service and a focus on getting passengers in and out on their way. It is imperative that we continue to build on this hub. It has good connections to North America and Europe and is user friendly. Our Dominica desk should, uh, should already be operating there and we should advertise Dominica in the immigration and customs area where 1.6 million passengers arrive annually, 600,000 of which are in transit to other islands including Dominica. He continues, the airport also has the nicest in transit facility of any airport in the region, including Puerto Rico with good food, good shopping, and a very comfortable VIP lounge. The other six hubs around cannot compare in efficiency and convenience. Shouldn't Dominica and St. Martin jointly declare Princess Juliana as Dominica's international airport until we build our own? and develop a better and more structured relationship with improved air access for Dominica, he asked rhetorically. He ended his message with a PS. Eric, if you know the manager of PJIA, please forward her my message. I'm impressed, smiling face, Gregor. This was Gregor's Nassif's testimonial of his own personal experience at SXM Airport at the beginning of March this year. He is the owner of the award-winning Secret Bay Resort and the executive chairman of Fort Young Hotel in Dominica. I had never met him until some two months later when I led a, little dele a small delegation to Dominica to explore the possibility of an agreement that would indeed cement the idea of SXM Airport being recognized as Dominica's international airport. In fact, the sentiments expressed by Mr. Gregor Nassif about his experience being in transit through SXM Airport constitute our stated goal as reflected in our slogan, the experience will move you. The whole idea of this departure lounge was based on that, on that concept too to enhance the passenger experience and consequently move the passenger to spend more at the first class duty-free stores in the lounge. In other words, while there was clearly a financial motive 
of increasing the airport's non-aeronautical revenues, as Cliffy mentioned, a financial motive of increasing the airport's non-aeronautical revenues, and there has been a significant increase in this since the implementation of our new retail strategy, as our annual report for 2014 clearly shows. We have also emphasized the whole nation, the, sorry, the whole notion of sense of place that would provide for an unforgettable experience like the one described by Mr. Nassif. And I might add several other users, both St. Martiners, visitors who have gone through this renovated departure area. I hope you would have noticed that the lounge also smells different now. This watermelon come passion fruit aroma is a deliberate appeal to our passengers' sensory organs. SXM Airport is their first and last impression of this destination. What better way to make them feel at ease than through the softly enchanting smell of watermelon and passion fruit? Hopefully, it will induce them to feel relaxed enough to dip their hands in their pockets to make those last minute purchases or have the last drink as many travelers do just before boarding. In this regard, I must reiterate our proposal to make SXM Airport an economic free zone. This will make shopping at the airport even more worthwhile. As it stands right now, the airport does not enjoy any pricing advantage over the stores outside its premises because the whole island is already duty free. It will be remiss of me not to thank all those who have made this possible. All the members of the Supervisory Board of Directors not only bought into this vision but enthusiastically supported and encouraged management to execute this project. I must extend the same gratitude to the past chairman of the Supervisory Board, Mr. Clarence Derby, for his contribution to the whole process. Similarly, we have enjoyed a very healthy cooperation with government throughout the execution of this project. Our gratitude also goes out to all members of the Council of Ministers who assisted and who continue to assist from the beginning to the end in the realization of this project. Without doubt, government as shareholder was, was solidly behind us in this endeavor. Thanks to all our hub partners for believing in us and for choosing SXM Airport to be your own international airport as well. Our mission statement clearly states that we want to be the leader in providing safe, secure, quality, and profitable services that contribute to the general economic and tourism development of St. Martin and the surrounding islands. We hope to have fulfilled that mission, at least in part, with the opening of this refurbished departure lounge. I wish to also thank all the airlines that service our destination as well as all the concessionaires who worked on this project and other entities that make use of our facilities. Your patience, understanding, and cooperation have, help, have helped us to reach this milestone today. How can I thank the management team and staff of PJIE enough? I am honored and humbled to be part of this group of St. Martin professionals who, through dint of hard work, dedication, and commitment, continue to take this airport to the next level. Finally, to each and every one of the more than 1.6 million passengers that go through this airport annually, thank you for choosing us. It is for your convenience that we did this. Thank you for bearing with us during the, re the renovation period. As you know, this is just another phase of our capital improvement program. We have already broken ground for the renovation of the cargo building. Next in line is the new FBO building and other projects that we are sure will transform SXM Airport 
and catapult us in the elite group of airport cities, which Dr. John Casarda will speak about. We are approaching cruising height. We invite you to enjoy this trip, and especially this evening, which we dedicate to all the people of St. Martin and St. Martin. Thank you. I'm pretty sure everyone can appreciate the levels of information the board has to absorb in its functioning. You know, I often tell my daughter before events, come on, Ashley, it's easy, it's a piece of cake, you can do it, you can dance or sing in front of people, and then you do it for yourself, and then you realize how hard it is. Portugal having been duly observed, distinguished guests, stakeholders, management, staff, friends, on behalf of the Supervisory Board of Directors, Mr. Ludwig Quinish, Mr. Michel Hodge, Mr. Cleveland Beresford, Ms. Melinda Hoover, Mr. Whitfield Vlaan, the latter two of which could not be present this evening due to travel. Welcome. Some time ago, management shared its vision of a revamped and updated departure hall with the board. This vision, albeit conceptual at the time, would elevate the departure hall from its strong foundation to another level of traveler experience. That would be second to none in the region and to deliver better profitability. This vision captured the imagination of the board and management was given the green light to pursue the project. Immediately following, as Mr. Brown stated, management engaged travel and airport consultants to carry out studies, for instance, of visitor experience, current and future demands, stakeholder wishes and concerns, industry best practices, and trends, just to name a few. The results of these studies were conclusive. A new direction needed to be charted. With the results of these studies in hand and the vision, a clear course was set. After having received the relevant approvals from the board, management commenced with the project, keeping in mind that such had to be executed with due care to current operations and to minimize negative experience for the users and the traveling public. Management recognized that this wasn't going to be an easy task. With this in mind, a group of contractors was selected who were uniquely skilled to execute the renovation works with the necessary due care and mostly at night, I might add. It was a tough task, but the team prevailed and completed this project as planned. Isn't it beautiful? It is my pleasure this evening to congratulate our concession partners, the contractors, our departments of special projects, legal and technical service for a job well done. I would also like to thank the traveling public for coping with us through this difficult time. And lastly, a very special thanks goes out to the managing director, Ms. Regina Villabega, for her steadfast determination to bring the airport to new heights, to lead her team to all challenges, and to deliver the project, and ultimately to make us as St. Martiners proud of our airport and our country by extension. Our SXM Airport, an institution conceptualized, built, managed, and operated by proud, dedicated, and professional St. Martiners a testimony of our country's capability. It is an absolute pleasure for me to be here this evening at the official opening of the newly refurbished departure lounge. The annals of our history will show that our airport over the years has undergone many trans transformations commensurate with the development of our tourism economy. From the construction of this ultra-modern terminal building in 2006, followed by the rehabilitation of the runway, the beautification of the surrounding grounds, future projects yet to be undertaken, a just 
some of the transforma transformation worth mentioning. It is also evident that our airport continues to strat strategically position itself as a regional leader. Not because of the much talk, spectacular landing experience, or our unique geographical location, but because of due emphasis on its product offerings and thus creating a more efficient and enhanced visitor experience. I am therefore confident that these new amenities will give our airport a dynamic impetus in air travel to this region. I wish to offer my commendations to all who have played a pivotal role in the important process, or this important process. It shows that the positioning and, um, and sustaining our destination as a major hub in the region requires that these and future efforts are attainable by means of innovations, ingenious new concepts, but most importantly, strengthening and solidifying within committed partnerships. I can vividly recall in the video just played about um, Dr. Casada, at one of the airport's uh, events, one of the symposiums, which he was a presenter, and the professor stated, and I quote, being a small airport or not having vast available, la available land need not to be a barrier of developing a structure that looks like an airport city or an aerotropolis and boosting non-aeronautical revenue, unquote. He added that the key to the success, however, would require a task force with visionary leadership and the confidence to follow through with ambitions. I would like to also add that the wider population of St. Martin must understand the potential business opportunities that stream through this airport on a daily basis. As mentioned by the managing director, 1.6 million passengers a year. That is 1.6 million opportunities for us to promote our beautiful island. Let us ensure that the benefit from the fruits of the labor invested may be part of our pride as we gleam in this beauty and as we look at what has been accomplished thus far. To the concessionaires, we will provide a range of services to our guests, continue to make a lasting impression on all visitors who spend their time here. By doing so, you will naturally underscore our warm hospitality rep um, reputation as the friendly island. Again, I would like to congratulate all who have made this undertaking a reality, and may God bless the people of St. Martin as he continue to bless our beloved island. I've had the privilege and many others, Franz Richardson, Member of Parliament, Franz Richardson, also work at the airport when there was no decent departure hall when there was no arcade, no shops in the departure hall. When Michel Hodge used to be a pilot by Winner flying to St. Bart's. When the stores in the building was a bookstore owned by Len Stein and Van James Jr. deceased. May he rest in peace. We've come a long way as an airport on this island. And we must recognize the work that has been done in the past by those, and also the work that is being continued by those present. I'd like to recognize also the work done by the former director, our governor, Governor Holliday, and also those that are presently uh, running the airport under the leadership of Mrs. Ms. Regina Labega. 
We've come a long way. And government, as the shareholder of this airport, we are aware of the contribution the airport makes every day by the business activities and also by the fact that all the activities produce income for government, whether it's in the form of turnover tax or any other kind of tax that government gets from the activities at the airport. However, we are reaching a stage where government across the board will need to look at all its government-owned companies and find ways and means of getting a better contribution to the coffers of government from these government-owned companies. The financial situation at the moment is very tight, and we will need the assistance of those that are really generating to readjust how their spending patterns will have to be in order to avoid government ending up in the trenches. I want to encourage the airport because if we are talking about having being a hub and being the place of transit for the surrounding islands, let us maybe pay some attention to finally getting a transit hall at the airport. I say this because I'm aware of correspondence where because of not having a transit hall, certain airlines have to fly back passengers to their point of origin, which is inconvenient and which causes quite some stir in correspondence back and forth. In the presentation by the gentleman on the screen, we heard about pre-clearance, and government also would like to encourage the airport to start looking at the possibility for us to pre-screen and uh, pre-cleared passengers going to the USA. It will only facilitate them when they reach there, and it's about facilitating making things easier for everyone. Again, congratulations to Ms. LaBega and her team, and to all those that are contributing to the airport. Let us continue working towards the benefit of St. Martin, and in doing so, contributing to the betterment of all the citizens of St. Martin. Congratulations again. Thank you very much. God bless SXM. God bless St. Martin. Round of applause, please.